Hello everyone and welcome to the final part of uh, Nanyan Place Pokemon Scarlet. Nyah! <laughs> We're gonna have a little bit of a shorter stream finishing up this game. I don't think there's that much left here. So yeah. And hello, Maestro Lurzus up! You're already here! <laughs> welcome! Why does it say one viewer? Okay, this is working. Yeah, so we have to go here. It feels like we're going down into the abyss in Maiden Abyss. <gasps> you finally landed! I fi can finally catch you. Finally. <laughs> I wanted to catch this one last time. Uh, oh, there. Right into it. Yeah. Oh, come on! Okay, that does not do luck. It should not fail if I use the flower trick. So... Heck yeah, now it has a good amount of health. Got here on the dot! Nyasum possum! <laughs> Save, you both are amazing! <laughs> I got a bit sick today, so I have prepared. I have powered. But I felt better, so I thought, yes, I'm still gonna do the stream. Oh, I didn't mean to. Name this one. Eh. There. Oh yeah, we have to have one more stream <laughs> where I finally finish the Pokedex, maybe. Uh Hey, what's you do? Okay, you're a Corviknight, I already got you. Also, what are the shinies flying around like the little Korok shiny stuff? Oh, hello? Fight me! <laughs> We're gonna fight! So, how's your start of this uh, week, Ben? I hope you had a great start of the week. Ah. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, Lucha, I don't need you. And there's a little one. Can I grab all them shiny thingies? There. <laughs> a shorter stream also sounds about right. I need to do some quick cleaning later since tomorrow someone's coming over to the apartment uh, to play some thingamajiggies to read raid and levels here. Perfect. <laughs> I cleaned yesterday. I'm proud of myself. My apartment. Apartment is nice and clean for once. I wonder if what happens if I just yajit myself off here. <laughs> oh, Penny! Penny. Penny did the self deletion. Are they? Penny, you magician, don't trick me like that. Start of a week is about the same as <laughs> a bit up and sometimes a bit down. Yeah. Well, it's good that you're not uh, sick or anything at least. Uh, I was so dead in school, managed to until just after lunch and then went back home. Well, at least you went to school. Good job! Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. Yep. 
That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah? What were they called? Radish rations? <laughs> what? Research stations. <laughs> yeah, hello, Björn. Hmm, well, I was close. No, you were not. Wow, you have such great memory, Penny. That's... What, what's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Yes, I agree. Dream? Ooh, look at that. Yeah. That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in a great crater. Come on now, let's take it on together. Why are we gonna have a double fight against that one? <laughs> yes! Yes, thank you so much for the clip. Ah! <laughs> that includes you now. Yeah. Mm hmm? Lack of common sense, yep. That's me. <laughs> okay. Uh. Poison. Cap. Boom. Well then, fair enough, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Penny is like the... Wait, wait. Even Penny was fooled by the freaking... Disguise before, so... Maybe I have a little common sense. Are there gonna be a lot more uh, of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Yeah, <laughs> very patronizing. Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. We do not have a tightly knit group here. This is our group basically. Everyone likes me and not each other. Except Nimona. Nimona likes most of us. But Nimona is Nimona. I get a citrus berry. Hang on a second. She has common sense. She says right after her AI jeets her off a cliff. I don't think so, Penny. Yeah! <laughs> Fair enough. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed Constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. It looks pretty modern for being that old. So that's why there's a bed. That's... wait... How... How did you dig at that conclusion? What, Nimona? Looks like we could use this place to rest up if we need to. Now, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock in the lab using that central panel. Okay. Lock disabled. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. It feels like this game has a lot of words that are like a little bit on the difficult side for a game that is for kids. But they also made the game a bit too easy in some parts. Just a few. I am so conflicted, like... I almost never saw my mom in my life. Is it the number of backstab story? Shh. <laughs> I don't have a time to read all that stuff, but it's interesting. God. Why couldn't they make her him talk about this? Why couldn't they just put in voice acting and have them voice act this so you could actually look around? I want to know what he's saying, but but I also want to look around. 
Just, just voice act your games. God damn it, Pokemon. You would be so much better with voice acting. Ah. Just imagine it having voice acting about them talking in the background while you're running. Uh. Well, that's good in my opinion. If this child is curious, they will ask about the word or search it up and learn. Yeah! Exactly. And that is a good thing. That is a good thing. But it, it's, it leaves me conflicted. Like, do they think children are dumb or do they think children are just people who needs to learn some stuff before we understand so like they just need someone to explain some stuff so they can learn it because <laughs> sometimes the game be dumbing shit down and other times it'd be like oh yeah here let me use words that no child would ever know so they will have to ask a lot like when the uh, director is uh, you know, the Pokemon school's directory is speaking. He uses a lot of big words. It's like, confusing. Eh, no comment. <laughs> yeah. But I also remember, didn't like Matsuda, who is one of the guys making Pokemon, say that children nowadays don't have the attention span? to play any more difficult games like they did in the past. Like, past children had a better attention span, which is partially true, but the problem isn't the attention span. Making it interesting. <laughs> hey, what are you? You are one of those flowers. Yeah. And that uh, one also just yeeted itself off a cliff. I'm gonna yeet myself off this cliff. I wanna see what's down there. Yajit! Aha! Let's go back up because I'm gonna go back. There was nothing here. But like, the thing is, when it comes to video games made for kids, uh, don't make it solely for kids. Have like, because eventually kids grow up. <laughs> uh, unless it's specifically like, uh, you know, teaching games, like math for children who are like six years old and stuff like that. Uh, but like when it's stuff like this, they can throw in stuff that only adults would understand too. It's like just a few things that they can stumble upon and be like, oh, haha, I get this yoke. And then when children see it, they're like, what the heck do they mean? That doesn't make sense. I don't know which is correct, but to me it feels like a combo for two. Yeah. Oh, I don't have one of you yet. I don't want you to faint. I'm gonna check and see. This is the weaker one. Okay, yeah, that's way too effective. Whoops. Probably, we'll probably be able to find another. But yeah. I thought that was a human for a second. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Like, wait, one of why is one of my characters way over there? The second research station. About time too. Heck yeah. But when it comes to the older Pokemon games, which one, which one is you guys' favorite? Like, personally, I am in love with uh, Soul Silver and uh, uh, Pokemon uh, Artinum. They're they're like my favorites of the older ones. <clears throat> if you take only like. Oh, well, and black and white and black and white too, but they feel like so freaking modern still for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> Just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. 
<laughs> ah, look at that! Hey, look at Jigglypuff! It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too! Stuffy seems a bit off there. Oh my gosh, so cute! <laughs> what was the question? Fetch some of my food, so I didn't quite hear. Okay, okay, so the question is, what out of the older Pokemon games, which one is your favorite? Like, uh... What the... Ah! Okay, uh, so, like, anything from a DS or earlier? The first DS. So the 3DS games, I would consider more of the recent-ish. So, but in... Anything for a DS or earlier, which ones are your favorite? Now, it's battle time! And like, why are they your favorite? Because I'm curious. I like the story from Black and White and Black and White 2. That's why I like those so much. I like the general area and stuff in uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Like, I like the map there. Could do some more work. I like, you know, that uh, I specifically like in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl that you had this mountain, right? And you could walk in from different places. Like it had multiple entrances to for exits. Like it, it had multiple entrances, and you could go in. And depending on where you entered, you could reach different parts of the mountain. So, and you had to kind of move through them and like, it made sense, I liked it. And I think that the whole uh, underground was a very fun thing. It was a very fun thing to do. And then I liked Soul Silver because of how well it was done as a remake. It was the perfect remake, okay? Soul Silver, Heart Gold, perfect remakes, they did all of the best things they took from the original games and then they just made it better except the there was something missing i don't i forgot what was missing but they removed one thing and i was kind of pissed about that but like that's the only thing that was better in the original compared to remakes ah the first paradox one i met was a deli bird your nostalgia is red as in the first one otherwise it's emerald oh yeah emerald is also great Remember Crystal though? I have to re I have to play through Crystal again. I I bought a Japanese Crystal. I have to change the battery, and then I'm gonna play it through it. You're supposed to be able to get uh, what's it called now again? Uh, little green one, Celebi, I think. In it, yeah. I would say Diamond because that was the first one I played and actually managed to finish. Finish. Nice. That's the first one I managed to finish too. Like completing the Pokedex entirely. First one I managed to finish just playing through like Elite Four and everything. Fire Red. No, I mean Leaf Green. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's just get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. I really like Celebi, it's cute. Yes, my favorite of the cuter, like mythical and uh, legendaries is Mew. Have you seen Shiny Mew? Shiny Mew original was green. And then they changed it to baby blue and the baby blue one is just so adorable. <clears throat> well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like a wild Pokemon don't. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch a breath. I like the wish one. Can't really remember the name. The wish one. Oh 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 ah! Hirachi. <coughs> hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. <gasps> Limpagan, howdy! How are you? I hope you're having a nice awesome time. Nyah. I've been wondering about that myself. Also, I see. Is that an eco? Yes, it is an eco. <laughs> eco emote. I've been wondering about that my, myself. 
Yes, definitely. Heck yeah, I got it right. Maybe... I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these? Huh? What's that book? <clears throat> As we descend further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, but we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. I'm okay, just working. Hey, That is good! I hope you're having a fun day at work. A member of the survey team uh, captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokémon known as Dunfun, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as to its great tusks. Fitness-wise, Mew and Celebi are shared first spot for me among the legendary Pokémon. Heck yeah! Monsters of Area Zero. So, they aren't actually Pokémon? I don't really know. What do you think now? I think they're really just Pokemon. Yep. Yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves and battle just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. It's the Robo Professor! Some of the life forms you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokémon that lived in the distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokémon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains the time machine. It summons the ancient Pokémon to this place. I mean, I, I kinda heard that there's, there's go, was gonna be something time related stuff like but this is how it happens uh, so the thing my mom spent forever researching down here she actually got it working <clears throat> indeed though the cost was catastrophic the cost but a time machine you mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for being such a hum as a human, uh, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you see the situation for yourself. Now then, now. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. So, halfway done. What's your accent? <laughs> I, I'll i give you three guesses and then I'll tell you and I'll give you a hint uh, it's European hey <laughs> good luck <laughs> well done please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations hey now you know that book she told me to bring I think it's got something to do with this place Wow, well, good hints. I mean, I give one for each, uh, like Irish, Scottish, or Australian. Australian is not a European access, uh, accent. <laughs> uh, that was three all in one. Uh, it's Swedish. I have a Swedish accent, but I also have a mix. So it is confusing. <laughs> Confusing, isn't it? I'm Swedish. Uh, I have a Swedish accent, but I also had a teacher in like when I started learning English, and that teacher taught us the British English. Um, and she had a proper British accent, and I watched a lot of British shows growing up, and uh, a lot of Irish and Scottish accents you could hear them as well in those shows. So I grew up with that. And now, anytime I get pissed, I get more 
how to say it, like I, I sound more Scottish, but I'm not actually Scottish. I just have a verbal tick. I love Swedish accents. Yes. So I have a mix Scottish, Irish, Swedish, and I'm I'm only Swedish. <laughs> I'm having a day, trust me, I hear a lot of different accents on Twitch, lol. Nice. I'm more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. And now I get the book! Even better, lol. Yeah! <laughs> now be sounding Scottish until analysis playable character got chopped chop. What? What? <laughs> I didn't really get it on you! <laughs> Welcome, Sahatiko! No Swedish moment. Oh wait, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try and like make my Swedish accent more easy to hear. Uh, how do I do a Swedish accent on purpose? Oh no! <laughs> In my years you barely have a Swedish accent now, but I also have a classmate who had the thickest Swedish accent I've ever heard. Heck yeah. Take care of it for me, okay now? Yeah. Oh, thank you for redeeming meow for us. Or do you want to hear a more realistic one, like... Okay, that's not the best one I've ever done. The whole thing of saying shh instead of ch. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, someone redeemed a good kitten. Well, Lord's a sub. <clears throat> Have you been a good kitten? Yeah. Good kitten. Character. <laughs> that just sounds weird. I say character. It's character. But then we have like uh chores and then i tend to say chores and stuff okay i'm gonna defeat this so i can get out yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I have the Swedish accent. Is that is that a good Swedish accent? Is is that a good realistic Swedish accent? I have the Swedish accent. Because that's kind of how a person I know speaks. He has a very strong Swedish accent. It's hilarious. I'm a lurk as I'm playing a game myself. Yeah, go lurk, go have fun. What game are you playing? <clears throat> I guess I'm kind of curious. No, you weren't supposed to do a critical, dang it! The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Oh, never heard of that. I hope you have fun. Please, no Swedish accent. I will unsub. No! <laughs> I can try to do a more British one. Do you have a bottle of water? <laughs> I think I will leave it for tomorrow. Nyasen. Is do not faint. Perfect. <clears throat> Make sure you drink your water. That's the closest I can do. <laughs> Heck yeah, we got it! It still looks so wrong to see a Pokeball just floating in the air, though. And also, why not just place the characters on the ground? It's not like... It's it's like ankle-deep water! Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> a 
But yeah, I have played through Jazz Punk recently. Ooh, that sounds like a funny game. Is it like... Uh... Ooh, ooh, look at this! I don't think I have one of these yet. Uh... Oh, I do have one of them. Huh. Uh, very random funny. Yeah. <laughs> Jazz Punk sounds like... A fighting game that uh, is using like it's a fighting rhythm game. That's what it sounds like. That's awesome. Only accent I do. Hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> there. Now it should be showing in chat. I don't know why it was like you cannot say this. I don't like German <laughs> is apparently not allowed on Twitch. Or I had to manually let you post that comment, what the heck? I get really confused, yeah. <clears throat> no, it's a puzzle game of sorts. Oh, I love puzzle games. And there is the third one. It auto modded me. Yeah, you cannot say that you hate German because it's like that's racist. <laughs> Even if you're speaking about the language itself, I, the only accents I do kind of like is German and Russian. I like a lot of accents. I like Irish, uh, Scottish, uh, Australian. I like. Uh, Oh, what's it called? Uh, uh, uh. I like Russian accent. It sounds hilarious, okay? It sounds hilarious. <laughs> nice! We got to sh we get to chill for a minute. <clears throat> Luffy's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. <gasps> Eria! Yahara! How's your birthday? It's your birthday still, right? Right? I hope you're having a good birthday. Ha! Huh. Oh, Penny, such a worry watch. Love me some Pokemon. Heck yeah! Or do you want to hear some of that Russian accent? <laughs> yeah, now I get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Silencia Cerno is for when Cerno is in chat and is being annoying. Uh, so when you redeem it, it basically just uh, has an auto command that mutes Cerno. <laughs> See? See? Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. Heck yeah! So it was an ancient Pokemon all along? Whoa, you battled one of these before, Arvind. It looks seriously strong. <clears throat> yeah, well now and now I are old pros when it comes to titans. Leave it to us. This is how I imagine English when speaking a Russian accent, but in Russian letters. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Can I catch this guy? Does it allow me to do it or no, it forces us to just fight it. No. Uh does it like that must be says they live on the British Isle? Or come from rubber? Yay. Yeah. Finnish! Like a Finnish accent is also one that sounds nice. <laughs> like the softer Finnish. Very funny, I should say so myself. <laughs> yeah. So I have to drink. Adria's accent is pretty good. Yeah, exactly. And Eria. Eria's accent is also good. They have the same accent. I know. See that? Victory is ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. 
You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crate get together. Jealous! <clears throat> My accent? Yeah! Finish I don't like, it's just funny. <laughs> I think it sounds nice. It can be soothing. Uh, if we got things from little ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing anything to keep him under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on now, let's get into that research station. <coughs> let's go! Nyarigato! Nyao! Now I need an idea f of some aspect of life to smartify for my IoT project. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, and made it to station number three. Hold up. Uh, now we gone. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm. Oh no, it's not that. Thank you for the head pads! Nyarigato! <clears throat> I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. <gasps> Thank you for the hydrate! <clears throat> yeah. The Pokemon I here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Koridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokémon? You're right! Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pasty. Pasty, come on! <laughs> Wait a sec, I totally forgot! Hey, Arvin! You had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh, you still remember that from ba way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. I guess I got no choice then, but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Coridon that is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it was would be best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Professor! Coridon, which I entrusted to now, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Through <laughs> I swallowed wrong. <clears throat> Through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclosaur, a Pokemon still commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokémon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Huh? You mean, there's another one around here somewhere? What if her family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly! Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time! Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed now. Please disable the lock using the central panel there. She's talking to me a lot, like... She, why is she talking to me so much when she hasn't seen her son in so long? Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue to the final research station. Okay. Because, like, she hasn't seen her son in literal years. <laughs> now, guess what I have? It starts with an S hint. Didn't have it during the last two streams, unfortunately. <gasps> Splatoon? Do you have Splatoon? Did you have Splatoon? No, uh, uh, something that starts with an S. A switch! Do you have a switch? Hey, hey, hey! 
Did I guess right? Did I guess right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta catch this. Bro, I had that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's so bad at remembering. Ah! Go on your side. Ah. Uh, Yerigato for red pads. Yeah. Did it just... Yeah, it did. Well, that's boss an asshole. Didn't let me catch it. Ah, uh, start. It's something you consume. Ah, 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 ah. Eh, no. Something you consume. Soda? Sake? Eh. Hmm. Close, but no cigar. Ah! <laughs> ah! Have I caught one of these? This is. Ah, uh, sushi. Snacks. You got snacks. Snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where am I? Am I correct? Am I correct? Hey, hey, hey. Snacks. Heck yeah! I did it. Get a bag of poly. Nyasum. Nyasum. I caught it. Nyasum. to catch this. I don't think I have one of these. <laughs> this time I remember it when I was at the store. Perfect. Good job. Snacks are important. Oh, there's supposed to be a third. I like this area. Look at that. Oh, look at that. This really feels like Made in Abyss going down into the abyss, minus the curse. It's just... Oh, I like it. I like it. I should get Made in Abyss, but... I think it would be a bit hard to stream it because I'm not sure Twitch would be okay with me streaming it. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge gorgeous crystals! They go all the way to the bottom! Well, maybe not important, but it's a nice thing to have while watching stream. Nyas! Nyas! One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Don't be a pessimistic! Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down here somewhere, waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. Alright team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. Heck yeah! No. This place looks unreal. Maybe that... Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Yeah, this place is something like... Uh, like something from a whole other world. Makes it feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. <clears throat> Is it just me, or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when the Pokemon terrestrialize? 
It's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's keep moving. We got to go all the way down. Nyah! Oh. Have any of you guys seen Made in Abyss? Like, the anime? It's one... If you don't like dark stuff, you should absolutely not watch it. But, like, if you like when it gets a bit dark and you just, like... Characters traveling together and... Uh, just surviving, basically. You might like it. See if there's anything around here. I haven't watched it yet, wasn't sure if it was any good. It is amazing! But you also have to be ready for a lot of really, really dark moments. That's the thing. Like, if you aren't okay with watching dark moments, especially if it's uh, about kids uh, being, you know, subjected to horrifying stuff. Uh... Can I... There. <laughs> then then you should absolutely avoid it, basically. Then it's not for me. Sometimes I might like dark, but else no. Yeah. What game? Uh, the, uh, no, so I was talking about an anime uh, called Made in Abyss. And it's amazing, but it's also really horrifying. It's one that I absolutely recommend those are okay with watching darker stuff. But not, not for everyone. Let, let's just say that. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be for everyone. I watched some really dark and messed up anime, so that's fine. Yeah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it then, Maestro. Other animes I would recommend... Also, Made in Abyss basically get, got its uh, own game. And I kind of want to play that. It's supposedly, it's supposed uh, to be like pretty boring apparently, but I still want to play it. Because sometimes people say this game is so bad and I end up loving that specific game. It's kind of, it's the exploration, you know? But it also has like really graphic deaths. And that's why I don't think Twitch would uh, allow me to play that game. Because I'm not sure that it doesn't go against the Twitch's rules. Wait, I'll put it on the list to watch. Nyasen. Make sure you watch it in order. It's first season, then you watch the movie, and then you watch the second season. You have to watch it in order, okay? I'm gonna make sure I have all of these. I have not caught you yet. But yeah! There's been like a lot of anime that have gotten game releases lately it feels like. Or maybe I just noticed it recently or something. Because there's like the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Black Clover? Which, I like the anime, it's pretty good. And I think I got the game there with like Humble Bundle. And you got the My Hero Academia also got the game, I think. And so on. I usually Google what order one should watch anime series uh, that has movies. That is good, that is good. <laughs> Get caught! Yeah! Got it! Also, I can see the... Like, if you see in the top right corner, there was the research place. Research, research station. Yeah. And... Woo! 
I almost ran straight into that Pokemon. <laughs> Oops. So we're almost all the way down. Anyway, have you seen a good anime recently or are you following like the current animes that are being released? Because I started re-watching an older one that I loved. Oh come on, I went straight into that one, <laughs> I was too focused. Ah. Chainsaw Man! Oh yeah, that one was amazing. I loved the manga. I, I still feel it's a little too bad that they made it really, really pretty. And it doesn't fit how the manga looks. Because the manga has this over-exaggerated kind of feeling in a lot of places that are supposed to be like that. And it's amazing. If you... Yeah, Attack on Titan! Heck yeah! Oh my god, I love that one too. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess! Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Ah, Professor! You, you scared us! Full Metal Alchemist! Oh my god, yes! Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? Um, so... so Sorry, sorry, s -s 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 sorry. I, 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 I'm s -s 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 sorry. Hello, children. Hello, hello. What the heck? Is she really? Is she really a robot? <laughs> the only one I'm currently watching is just chilling and laughing. That's Itainova. Yeah, season two. Oh yeah. Since I don't like pain, I'm gonna max my uh, defense. Oh. Play and you'll find out. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Stop that! You're creeping us out! Hello, child. Children. Then. Children. Then. Children. Children. Initiating restart. The professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? Really? I don't- I'm not sure. Did she get stuck in the past or something? Did she, If she made a time machine and she cannot go back, isn't it also possible she went to the future and then from the future sent a robot version of herself back in time? Then she cannot herself go back. I think that's what happened. Well, it was definitely weird at least. Almost like, I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. Okay, let's do this thing. Better press it. All locks disabled. <gasps> Dimjardo, hello there! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hello, can you hear me now? Please f forgive my previous transmission. Seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. I love both extraordinary... S uh, spelling gun? Choir? It's not spelled like that. Uh, what do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way down now to the la Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Uh, Oshimai, a magical revolution of the reincarnated Prince uh, Ang Genius Girl and Genius Girl. Uh, and which from Mercury, they are all excellent. They, not thy. Yeah. I think my favorite, and a lot of you, I'm gonna say it like this. Kasumi! Hi! You're watching this in VR? Oh my god, that's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome! <laughs> one of my favorites that I'm currently watching that got me into re-watching the old one 
uh, is the reboot of Trigun. So Trigun Stampede, I would say it is incredibly different. If you think of it as a completely different anime, it's good. But it's not a good, like, Trigun. It's not Trigun. It's, it's so different. They change it up so much that it becomes its entirely own thing. And I feel like they should just make an entirely new anime that was inspired by Trigun instead of reimagining actual Trigun. But it's cool. It's very freaking well animated, I think. And okay. Trigun, love it. Yes, so I just started re-watching the old Trigun anime and I'm gonna re- I'm gonna read the manga because it's- the old Trigun anime wasn't like fully loyal to the uh, manga. Like it didn't perfectly follow it so I've been recommended to read it for so long and I just haven't had the time. I am just gonna- I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read the manga and I'm gonna compare them. <laughs> All the three. Like, compare the manga to the old anime to the new anime. <laughs> Trigon and Trigon Stampede is so bleeding good. Yes. I feel like a lot of people are saying like, oh, if you dislike Trigon Stampede, it's because you're like nostalgic only. Like, no. The thing is, the reason I dislike some things in Stampede or don't want to think of it as Trigun is because they change up things quite a lot to the point where it's kind of taking me out of the immersion. Like having a... what's it called? A laser gun, technically, in a world where they... <laughs> Yamala! Uh, a laser gun in a world that they technically don't have the stuff needed to make it is weird. Uh, it's not quite a laser gun. I don't know what's it called though. Instead of using like, instead of just being a very big gun shooting bullets, it becomes very different. And that's the things that I don't like about the new version. But oh my god, it's it's so freaking well. I, I love the action. <laughs> If you can turn off your brain and just watch, it's amazing. Yeah. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it! Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Eh. Yeah, right. Let's just pluck the right to fill my the textbooks. Hello children, you've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by the crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possesses a peculiar energy. Uh, this energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of mach- It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. And he got that right! So, this entire building's been terrestrialized. Is that what you're saying? I'm a bit split about the current Trigon anime, but it's definitely not bad. Exactly, it's not bad, it's different. It could be simply the difference in how it's told, considering the old one was more told like a classic spaghetti era western. What is a spaghetti era? What the heck? Uh, but the new ones, uh, way of telling its story are not without advantages. Yeah, it's good. Vash is one of the weirdest and funniest protagonists in my opinion. Yes, I love Vash. Oh my god, he's a freaking awesome protagonist. You guys gonna keep your brains on? Mine don't. We know, Cerna. Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about terror orbs just now. They're made from crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many may know it. 
that you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab shall now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with a dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. That sounds like a problem. With the four of you working together, you should be able to, be to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. Let's go! Ah, well then. That puts all my worries to rest. Nah! We're so close to a final battle. Gonna save just in case. Open the gate to the stair lab. Heck yeah! What could go wrong? You decided to press the button and open. Hold it! Uh, why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might, might come at us, then we shouldn't we also have Coridon help? Yeah, if Coridon were like how we first saw it in the inlet grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down into the area zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. I It ate all this Herba Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it will fight. And area zero is where it used to live. If you bring out its it out of its ball now, maybe it will be able to find its family too, right? Yeah, that's pretty sensible uh, by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on now, let Coridon out. Now look at Toothless, the red version. Uh, yeah? Alright, come on now. Now that we got Coridon ready, it's time to open that gate. I keep mine on idle when not in use. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> the spaghetti era was the late 60s to early 80s of western movies. Think the good, the bad and the ugly. The term spaghetti comes from the fact that it was made by Italian. Oh. Oh look, there's a, se a second Coridon. It does not look happy. Rawr! The family reunion. It's happening. Whoa. No way. Uh, it does not look like a happy family reunion. No. Savvy's not right. That was a very abusive family, it looked like, if they are family. Not okay, not okay. Work right on. Yeah. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed about- uh, Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so suddenly? I wouldn't say that was a heartwarming family reunion. Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Oh, did you not notice? Just look at Coridon. Poor thing's terrified. Is that the other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into battle form, I'm sure you're going to go toe to toe against that jerk. If you know you want, if you want to. S sorry, guess that doesn't really help her. Huh? Do you think that the Avery Coridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? 
I'm not sure, actually. This... Hmm. Yeah, it, they would be coming out from the inside, right. Didn't the professor say that... But didn't the professor say that the dangerous Pokemon would come out from the inside? You mean from inside the gate we just... There we go! Here we go, here we go! <laughs> rumble, rumble. What the... We're surrounded and it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat there's no way we can handle this many and don't tell me they're all ancient pokemon we got a little disaster on our hands here uh, look even that fellow's ready to bail <gasps> stretch thank you so much for redeeming stretch stretch Cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Being uh, this clueless is truly a curse. Yeah, that clueless. Being that clueless is truly a curse. Completely oblivious. Come on now, let's do this together. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Nyerigato. Much hydrate. Okay, this will be easy peasy. Ah, I thought it was gonna one shot. Nimona is truly gotten both bad addiction and brains. Yes. <laughs> Nimona is just ash. Okay, Nimona is just ash. From the anime. If he had been born as a girl. Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Yeah, why are they coming at me? Now, help me out here. I think the Mona have at least more personality than past rivals. Yeah. I, I gotta say though, I really liked your, uh, the rival in Sword and Shield. Okay. Um, because it felt like he actually, like, he's, he's actually suffering with, uh, like, kind of like feeling like he's not good enough. His, I mean, literally, his brother is a champion. And then he keeps being defeated by the player over and over again. So he starts doubting if he's actually got any skills at all. And then he comes to realize maybe like, oh, I want to, I don't want to be like specifically a Pokemon trained. Like I can do other things, but he still does want to battle. Based Meowskarada user, by the way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Meowskarada is freaking amazing. I also love that it has a an attack that is just yes, guaranteed critical hit. It might not be very effective, but it's a critical hit when you're too lazy to change out Pokemon. Easily the best starter in the game because of flower trick, yeah. Heck yeah. Nya. Also, I actually love Miascarada's design. I pick the fire starter in almost every gen, but Miascarada is top tier. Heck yeah. I mostly pick water types. The, the ancient past must have been terrifying. Well, it is a cat. Yes, Kate. Oh no! The oh no! They're running away. Yeah, and if those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. 
We gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait! Ah, hold on, Nimona, why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all of this? Rar, angry lizard. Yeah! Welcome, Absol Sama! Nyah. I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's thinned out now. And thinned out now. Uh, guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Burn the shrooms! But first, we gotta defeat this ghosty thingy. Yeah. Flutter main. I still didn't inhale the fumes. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face that other one of your kind. Well then, let me take on some of that burden. The stragglers should be nothing. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabostiff here can take them. So now, you take your partner here and go take care of business. Got it. Glad to see you got some faith in us at last. Mumble Stiff can wait to battle either. Heck yeah! Go get him, Mumble Stiff! Okay, maybe freeze them. Yeah! <laughs> that was a real team effort there. I, I read exactly. <laughs> but I don't. Really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you covering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You got amazing powers if you just use them. And you got us too. So, so. So don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave, stand up, and fight. Look at my baby Karaidon, he's so damn adorable. Yes, he's so precious. He's like a little red toothless. He's a red and blue little toothless, okay? That's what it is. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. She is definitely a robot. Or dead. Is she dead? No, she's not dead. Okay, uh, she's a robot. Deactivating sleep mode. Hello now, thank you for coming. No, back to your ball. No really Sherlock, how did you figure that out detective? <laughs> exactly. I, I started figuring that out pretty early. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've been traveling with. The Coridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. Then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real Professor passed away during the incident that destroyed Research stations number four. So she is dead. Okay, so she's dead. This is a robot. I called it. Totally called it. Go ahead and check the last episode of that I... Or like part... Like, go ahead and check part nine. I totally called this. Okay? Sorry, I'm being sarcastic again. <laughs> Whenever a game has a companion that does almost nothing in fights, mostly dies and then acts all cocky afterwards, I just go with, well, you were fucking useless. Yeah. <laughs> da da da. <laughs> Thank you for the headpad. Nyarigato. Incident? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. 
I believe that professor wanted nothing more than for Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. For a time I first reached out to the director Clavel and asked him to contact with you. Uh, I was never more than an AI. Now, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab and I desire your help. Have you noticed her clothes now? Yes, she's dressed as if she's just arrived from the past or something. It's so weird. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Ooh, soon boss music. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna finally hear the boss music everyone has been like hyping up about. Oh, yes. I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. So we're going further down. I thought we was at the bottom. <laughs> this elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Okay. Is it gonna be poppin'? But also, I feel like Arvin deserves to be here with us right now. Hey Arvin, good news and bad news. The good news is that um, your mom isn't a deadbeat after all. Bad news, she's kinda... Just dead. Just remove a bit. She's just dead. <laughs> now, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of a research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. I now managed to steer a lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you need to ask, wish to ask? What is this time machine? Time machine. The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to different point on a different point on the timeline to catch up Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. You should never do that. That's fucking stupid. Oh uh, no. Think about the timeline and how you're gonna mess it up and ah time paradox. Ah. <laughs> When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with the Pokémon from another age. What you might call ancient Pokémon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw in ancient Pokémon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. The computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave the is it that you really want? The original professor had a dream. A world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. This Pokemon's power seems to stem from a primer, primal energy from an ancient past. And this energy has proven proved to be terrible. Too terrible. Uh, the very existence bring destruction to the ecological balance of modern age. No shit, Sherlock! You can't just take ancient Pokemon and insert them in today's modern age. Like, no, that is stupid. Why are so many of these professors like this? Ah, or like not professors, but like bad, like the bad guys, the evil team or whatever. They're so stupid in this type of way. Ah, the original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. 
At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokémon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokémon appear that can break the barrier. Such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of a professor and yet, I cannot seem to find logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it will require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Now, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dreams other ones cherish. This is why Professor Oak was the best. All he wanted to do was bang Ash's mom. Yes, Ash's mom has got it going on with Oak. <laughs> this is the Pokemon version of Jurassic Park. Yes! Oh my god, it is so freaking true. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. I like oh my god that looks kind of cool in the background I like it I like it ah I love it oh it's fucking with my eyes a lot though behold this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon I should save first Looks like a massive kaleidoscope. Exactly! To stop the time machine, we'll need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very likely it was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book in all places. We loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book on the pedestal here, we'll be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle in my by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built up on an analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of Aldea region. Having seen a bond between you and your Pokémon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. Oh yeah. Ooh, time for the battle music. ID confirmed. Professor Seda, initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. Up to you now. Now. <laughs> AI Seda, switching to sleep mode. Activating protocol. Please, defeat me. Oh my god! This looks fucking badass. Okay. This is where all the budget went. <laughs> At last. At last my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. Is that like the real Seda possessing her or something? Ah, oh, this is so cool. A.A. Sada has initiated a battle. Um, no? No! <laughs> no. Imagine how tricky it would be if you were on drug drugs in a room like that. Oh god, yeah. It's like the protection program. Yeah. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals.
This is the worst stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Do this one, right? Um, the music is freaking bopping. Yes. The OST is awesome, yeah. Heck yeah, I get why people were trying to hype me up about this. This is the power of the ancient past halls. Splendid, isn't it? Uh, I don't know what you're... A critical hit. Just as calculated, a critical hit to your Pokémon. It is time you simply gave up, child. Of a brain? Yeah, it does sound like it. A really good remix. Now, this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand ancient Pokemons? <laughs> ancient past holds 21 damage. Underwhelming, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what its weakness is. Uh... Well, hopefully, I think it's supposed to be... Originally it's fire, right? One that this looks like. Uh, this... Oh! Oh ho ho! I should have used fire. One of my favorite boss fights in Pokemon. Really? Awesome! Primal Pokemon in this prime battle. It's bug fighting. Oh! Uh, which one did she say was... I didn't. Fudge. As a small note, you should get mute game when getting credits. Oh, okay. Thank you for telling me. No. Do you imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Please, faster. No! Okay. At least it wasn't like super uh, a critical hit or something. Um. Go! Kurosada is a very good fight. Yeah. Uh, Paradox Pokemon? Yeah, I, I gotta fill my Pokedex with Paradox Pokemon. Brute Bonnet? Uh, let's see what that is. Oh, it's you! Right, righto, righto. Okay, I should have healed first. I hope. Uh, I was being stupid. Ah! Never mind. I have uh, another one that is also fine. Go, Panini! Nyaaa! By human, your human brain is inferior to me. Well, then, guess who's getting dismantled? <laughs> yes, Sandy Shocks. Uh, heck yeah, I think <laughs> you can use this chomp on Panini. Yes, <laughs> go eat that bread. Super effective. Yes, how'd your, the rest of your stream go yesterday? Eco, I fell asleep in the middle of it. I had it on in the background and you were almost like nine hours in or something. You had you were streaming for a long time yesterday, Eko. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Heck yeah! It took 16 hours! Oh my god! What a sort of error has occurred here? Recalculating for critical damage. I'm impressed, Nico. Are you okay? I hope you're okay after that. <laughs> Fluttermain. Uh, let's keep. I don't remember Fluttermain. Uh. Eco leaves. Yes. Eco leaves. Yeah.
Boring Moon? That sounds awesome. Everything is pro proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the pro... Uh, I didn't have a time to read! Oh, look at that! Protosynthesis? Also, thank you for the head pass. Yarigato! Oh, and the hydrate from earlier. Gotta hydrate some more. Hold on, don't I have... Try this one. Yes. Mega Solomon. Pick ye. For a computer, she sure sucks at math. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. No! I hoped I would be able to do that one. Growing moon is the Solomons, but I heard the stats were changed for occupation. What a beast. Cool. Well then. What if we use this? Oh, come on. Gonna swap in and then I'm gonna heal and then let's see. Max potion! Yeah. Bopping! The music is still bopping though! <laughs> Building up. Also, I just realized like he has terrestrialized. What did you damage it with? I don't remember. <laughs> Kaboom! Critical hits all the way. <laughs> Thank you! It impossible. Starter finished it. Exactly, you gotta finish with your starter if you can. That's the best. Right? <clears throat> so she has now shut down. We just destroyed the closest thing Arvin has to a mom left. Oh no. No! What is this? You already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything that Time Machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So pr proud of you, my... Sorry you were alone so, so long, our... Uh, m mom? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, 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 what's going on now? It's another army of Pokemon on its way here. It cannot be. The Turo is still alive. Wait, what? 
Yes, ah, are, an obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What was keeping the time machine running truly? All the professor wanted. Wait, what? They locked the Pokeballs? Initializing. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. EA sat or disabled. Paradise protection protocol initialized. Oh no! Well, his our parent to abandon him too is alive in the version they don't show up. Oh! You are challenged by AI Seda. Seda. You are challenged by paradise protocol protocol protection protocol. Paradise Protection Protocol sent out for item. <laughs> no! No! I would expect our professor to show up in DLC. Oh, that! I didn't even think about that. They're probably gonna... But they are probably gonna release the DLC. Can't battle without Pokemon if it... Well, let me try. It's true. Our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Oh no, I did accidentally clicked it again. Ah yeah, some crazy electrical signal is jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them to open. What if I just keep click clicking battle? I think there were books in school somewhere that mentioned the other prof left a while back. That's totally cheating, and you call yourself an adult. Left a while back, aka not dead. That is so awesome. Okay, eh... Uh, I guess it just shows you them reacting three times. Running away would put everyone in danger. Eh? Oh! I gotcha! I gotcha! It's an AI Arvin, you dummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull out the sandwich. Not an adult. I mean, it's a robot adult, technically. Let's go! Toothless! I mean, Coridon! That is totally not, uh, you know, inspired by Toothless. Huh? Ah! Heck yeah! <laughs> Locked because it caught with the professor's ID. Oh, that makes sense! Oh, you're smart. You're smart. I like this song a lot. Closing Karide on Turn the Sun. I like the same. Okay, uh, so let's check what we have. How is this? Or usually, if it's the perspective hit. Uh, and. Oh, hold on. What type is. Let's see if we can get. Get him to burn first. This burn? No, no burn. It changed into its battle form. Let's go, Coridon. You got this. Oh my god, Shang, you spook me. You will fall here within the Garden Paradise. Uh, it's I. The text is too fast for even me to read. Ah, <laughs> loose. No. Let's just. Uh, we are not. 
Yes. Have we? You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacle to my goals will be eliminated. Just focus. <laughs> well, that was loud. Yeah, it is just specifically that one that is loud. Collision course. Nah. Took off the taunt. This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there now. The data says I am the superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my dream will be built. No! Oh, God, I don't. I'm gonna heal. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Now we just need to. We got it. No, but I have my speakers on a good volume for me, but my neighbors might have heard that sound. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder if they go out and they're like, who did this? Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? Hey, no, your terror orb's glowing. Heck yeah! Here we go. Now, Coridon, terrestrialize and finish this off. Yeah! It's terrestrialize. Why can't they just make it so it says all the stuff like, oh yeah, uh, Attack went up, death went up, and so on and so forth. Like all at once, in one sentence. I'll try and bullshit my way out if I did hear it and come asking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them the most outlandish lie on purpose. It would be freaking hilarious. Sure, and you won't be pushed around. Time to terrestrialize and get in some super effective hits. We are already terrestrialized. Come on. And uh, let's just keep using that. Go, Coridon. Go, go, Coridon. Heck yeah. Oh no! You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. It's a lot of weight! There we go. You did it! It's... it's not going berserk anymore? How... How very astounding. Think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. Oh god, that does not look normal. Just having e twitches. <laughs> A completely unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past might have been, I believe you will be able, be, will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. And thank you now. I thank all of you, children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. Yes, I am myself um, a part of a system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Uh, what does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. Where you came together, working league with your fellows and caring for them. 
the way that you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you are into battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way you never ceased to or to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah, and the way that you soared free through the skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you are, free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. But I made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world ancient past that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you! I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race a thrill of adventure? Arvan, I am sorry that I kept from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of her professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loves you. But truly loved you. You... you can't... You can't just go and say a thing like that now! No? I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvan, ride on. Now, it is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Mom! <laughs> Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Poor Arvin, he's just lost both his parents, technically. Like, one is just completely out of the picture, just doesn't care. And the other one apparently died, and now the copy robot she built of herself is gone too. Wow. Looks like the massive world-changing project of this... Uh, super rich corporation failed to take a 10 year old into account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my friend sent an audio file that disconnects my headset when played and the speakers were still on, so send your complaint to my friend. Here is his number. Have a good evening. So now, have you changed your opinion on Sada now? Yes. Okay, she was decent. I was like, okay, since she obviously couldn't go and meet him, but I also feel like she should have tried to speak to him while she could. Given him some closure, like told him earlier. Shame too. Arvin lost both his parents, but he's not edgy enough to qualify to be bad. <laughs> oh my god! Heck yes. How could you just go, Mom? Arvin, you okay, bud? Of course not, Nimona. Yeah. Somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew. I knew that thing was fake. It... When it said my name, using her voice and wearing her face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just... I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. I guess Koraidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong! If it tries to nudge at me for belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Now when Koraidon just saved all of Paldea. That's, that's right, you both did amazing. Thanks now. Yeah. That's my bud now for ya. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor is gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own past. Yeah, 
Thanks. Thanks, Penny. Um, yeah. Sorry. What should we do now, now? Head on out. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here and make our way home. In a way, Arvin has now lost two moms. Yeah. Everyone only abandoned him. Yeah. Yay, hey, hey, mommy. <laughs> uh, we're still alive in this world. Yeah. Pokemon Scarlet, the mommy issues, DLC, daddy issues, Pokemon Violet, daddy issues, DLC, mommy issues. I hope that we get to meet the other professor in the DLC. He had a fun adventure in the past. It technically already happened. Heck yeah! <laughs> that is so fucking true. Spot on, my dude. Spot on. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home, road home and get a little more fun out of this. I don't really... Sounds great. If we load up on snacks first, I mean. Hey, no, not you too. The day say it thanks to none of the adults, exactly. <laughs> oh, all right, fine. I guess we're doing this. Could be that they hear. Sounds, it sounds like the professors were divorced. Yeah. You see tonight it could go oh. either way. Okay, so now you guys shouldn't be able to hear that thing, right? I was warned that I had to turn off so people couldn't hear this. Hey, this sounds kind of good. <laughs> uh, it could be that they hear what the other one died and decide to come back for Arvin. You'll see. Yeah. Honestly, one of a very well-made story for Pokemon. I think it was not... It didn't start very well. But it ended pretty fucking good, okay? It was pretty decent. I would say uh, slow start... Not really getting into the story, like, it wasn't very, like, ah, it didn't really drag you into the story as much as I would have liked in the beginning. But the end? Amazing. It was very character-driven. I told you the story's good. I freaking told you. Yes, you were right. Oh my god, I liked it. And I think if they could update the game a little bit and just tweak some stuff, this is actually a much better game compared to like Sword and Shield. Or do you guys agree? Like Sword and Shield was barely okay <laughs> when it came to like like this one. You exploring in this one is much much more fun since it's just not a single road like in Sword and Shield. They already confirmed big updates later this month. What? I missed that. When is that? Do you mean like, are we gonna have a Pokemon Direct? I found it a bit weird that the story was hidden so far into the game. Yes, exactly. But it's a great story. Sword and Shield was fun, but could have been better. Sword and Shield DLCs were really good. Yes, the DLCs were amazing. Uh, compared to the game original game. Um, I feel like if they didn't make the original game so narrow in like it's just a single road you go entirely the entire way it's just except for like the wild area big update means big bugs meaning bug fixes heck yeah i heard update will be will be big oh my god yes oh i look forward to that but i'd assume we'll hear more about DLC to, to on Pokemon Day. Oh yeah, Pokemon Day. When was Pokemon Day now again? Is that in March? Or is it in February? 
Because I think it was early in the year, right? It was a good story. Yeah. Also, you guys should Google like... Uh, or go, you should go to YouTube and look up this ending. So you can listen to this song. I just don't want to get a strike. Found this. Supposedly the update will contain bug fixes and added functionality. So no details have been given uh, on what this could entail. Some fans are speculating that it might be the integration with Pokemon Home. It's zero! You must do! <laughs> you didn't spook me this time, Cheng. Nya! Nya! Uh, already heard it, lol. Yeah. <laughs> but for the rest of you who are just watching and don't have a game, go, go listen to the music on YouTube. <laughs> Someone t uh, should tell Arvin about this new chat AI they're developing. He could get another AI to be his new mom. I don't think that will help him when it comes to, you know, his mommy issues. <laughs> I think that would make them worse. But yeah. Holy shit, this game. 10 out of 10. No, no not 10 out of 10, but still. The story, how it ended, I feel like it's very close to a 10 out of 10. But how it started... I have to make like a deep review. If I'm gonna say something right now, how I felt, how good I felt this game was, I would say 7.8 out of 10. <laughs> as long as they get rid of the frame rate issues, I'll be happy. Same. I think they should fix that and also add more Pokemon from the the national decks, you know. Um, uh, start writing spoon. Anything else will be extra for me. It's the best 3D Pokemon game. Yeah, agreed. I can agree on that. Yes. 100%. Ding dong dong ding. Calling students to the director's office. Miss Now. Miss Nimona. Now I should be able to... There. Uh, Master Arvin and Miss Penny. Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. Now crave bunny. Yes, I need to catch a bunnery. And I'm gonna name that bunnery. No horny. And give it an Everstone. Th that's my goal. I, I need it. <laughs> Ah, looks like the hero's finally here. Would you like would you join us, Miss Now? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements this year in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the processor's Professor's time machine and thus prevented the ancient Pokemon from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off limits area was admittedly regrettable. <laughs> you got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over calls after all. I mean, we got invited by someone there, so... Technically, we were not prohibited from entering. <laughs> Technically. Oh, oh! before I forget, Miss Now, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. A Master Ball! Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you the, a short while ago. That gift is one we only bestow only upon students who achieved truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what that badge, re that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. I'll try. <laughs> Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. 
And Master Arvin. I was so sorry to hear about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Uh, well. Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my mom had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. In a great crater, I got to learn a bit about my mom's research and what she was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with affection, huh? All I know is, I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here, and mother stiff, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your mother's son. Of course, I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. Well, wait, you need credits to not be in school? <laughs> that feels weird. Um, oh god. <laughs> and let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. But we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the great crater known to the public. Your new champion rank, at least, should be celebrated through the throughout the whole school. Oh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. No. Seriously, could we not? Classic Nimona. A Pokemon ba battle contest today. Well, you're own vested interest in such a venture are more than apparent, Nimona. I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us, with many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion. I couldn't help but overhear. <gasps> Heck yeah, it's her! <clears throat> the Pokémon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. The Primera? Well, well. A most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young and up-and-coming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokémon battles. Former gym leader, the developer, the developer of the Pokédex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokémon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa, we get to battle the teachers? You should compete too, right, Primera? Is that even allowed? Chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as all of the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but... I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work I simply must attend to. Ah, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion now agree would agree to lend me a hand with my work. I would be happy to help. <clears throat> The Mona's suggestion surprised me, said no one ever, yes. <laughs> Excellent answer, much obliged, champion now. To get straight into it, I would like you to go and inspect Paldea's previous gyms in my stead. Are we fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as a champion of the to bear against each of all of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personal. <clears throat> I do not expect you, uh, you'll you find any cracks in their armor, but well, consider it a formality. This will also provide a perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion, since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry, in, carry out inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous! Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here to how to patch the weakness in our league point system. 
<clears throat> um, but there's a bunch of anime I missed that I was just gonna change. I feel that. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. <laughs> God, I mean, I'll d do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. Poor Penny. <laughs> She's gonna be worked like a horse. Ah, uh, this is awesome now. Show this inspection thing whose boss of it, uh, La Primera can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms of uh, and other administrati administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say, it's most wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You have, uh, you each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the gym league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Except Arvin, who's like just standing there. Guess my role is so obvious it goes without saying. Study. Your role is to study, you student. But yeah, I think this is... Oh, if you select Corrino while... Right from... Okay. Anyway, there we go. I have finished the story. So now it's just the extra stuff, I guess, that you get to do. Uh, so more after stuff. So I have to go and battle everyone again. And uh, I get to go to school, I guess. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching today. I will be back sometime later. I'll probably wait until after the update to see what's new. That's when I'll play it again. And uh, then I can focus on the other games. I also have to... I, ha I kind of have to clear my backlog a bit. Ah, okay. Let's see what you guys were writing before. But Lopan is so good though. Yes, Lopan is good. <laughs> Lopan is great. First Pokemon, uh, uh, Black White 2, second Scarlet Violet, third Black White, fourth Platinum, fifth Emerald. This is my personal top five list, but I don't know. That is very close to my own. I think my first is also uh, Black and White 2. Second, though, is Black and White. Then I have Scarlet Violet, then Platinum. No, wait. Soul Silver and Platinum on a stand like right next to each other, actually. But yeah, for mainline. Uh, I did not go to class, I stayed up all night watching anime and passed out before my first class. That shit happens sometimes, just do your best and <laughs> yeah, I wasn't at class today either because I have had a very horrible stomach ache all day and it finally started getting better. It's, it's not entirely over so I'm gonna go and rest actually because my stomach ache is starting to come back. Uh, sounded like you were about to say proud of y'all. Yeah. The ball that's almost never used or well loose. Just used mine in shiny Sora in Scarlet, but eh. Yeah. <laughs> I always save. I just save mine. I just don't use it. I'm gonna see if I can put it in like a computer or something. Um, now it gets invited to do into a prohibited area by a dangerous AI. Yeah. Truly honorable feats. Let me comment genocide now. <laughs> Nimona's suggestion surprised me, said no one ever. Nimona wanted to battle? That's so unlike her. Yes, I know, right? She never wants to battle. I wonder why. Uh, knitting or painting? Heck, maybe even baking. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hey, Karen, thank you, Eddie. You're playing through Persona 3, so we have to that to look forward to. Exactly, you get to look forward to Persona 3. I still have to finish uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I have barely gotten anywhere in that one. I have finished, I think I finished Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond, so that one's finished as well. But yeah, Persona 3, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and for the Let's Plays, I'm going to be playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And the Let's Plays are only on my YouTube channel, so if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, follow me there, you can go ahead and follow me there. <laughs> Just send like... There should be a link somewhere below. Alright, Arceus as well. I really like Arceus. Heck yeah, then you know what to look forward to. 
I always use Master Ball for Pidgey or equivalent. Oh god, yes. That's also hilarious. Also, uh, once I finish Persona 3, I will be moving on to playing Persona 4 and then Persona 5. Because I have... Uh, I've been gifted Persona 5 Royal on Steam, so yeah, <laughs> I have quite a backlog to do. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for joining me. Uh, I will be looking quickly for someone to raid. So that I can go and rest. My stomach really hates me right now. I should also probably cook something. Eat some food. Food is important, apparently. Oh, Phomologist is live. So how about you all go and give Phomologist some love. And I'll see you all on Thursday. Bye!